Okay, guys. We are back. I hope you enjoyed your time, your break, as I did. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to play some Skyweaver. So let's just update my Twitch information there. Beautiful. Beautiful done. Um, now, this game is played right in the browser. Right here in this in this beautiful little browser. And we're just going to hit the play button. Now I want to do a little bit of practice because, like I said, I haven't I haven't gone in. Uh... Actually, let's just let's get a recap because it's been almost a month since I played this. Rival hero, your hero, your hand, your mana. Okay, okay, that's right. Mana costs. Yep, cast spell. Great health. Okay. 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 You know what? Let's just learn while we play. Let's just learn while we play. In some practice modes, right? Back to basics. Oh, you know it. So I have no idea what's in my deck. Uh, but I do have a one, two one drops, three, four. I have no two drops. Uh, but getting two one drops could be fine. I wish there was a way. You know what? I don't know what's in the deck, so I'm just going to start with these cards. Maybe I am. Oh, pick four cards to keep. Oh. Wow, really back to basics. I forgot I had to do this. Um. I like this. I like these. Let's see what we did. Let's see if anything that we just did was good. Your turn. Okay. Ooh. So getting a water spell. I haven't really looked into the card pool, so I don't know if the water spell is good. Why don't we just start with some fairly good aggression? Deal one damage. That's all we can do. So we're good. We're good. What just happened there? How do I check my opponent's discard pile? Can I not? can't check my opponent's discard pile. Oh, I literally... Okay. That is a very... That is a UI uh, thing they, they need to fix. Rosewater Charm. Mana Potion. Okay. So you drew two one cost units. I do like the fact that it went to night. I don't think it's necessary, but it's pretty cool. Earth Dragon. Really? It's pretty legit. I do love the art style. I will say that. I wonder if it matters where I place it. It does. Placement does matter in this game. Okay. Um... So we got Barry and Snow. So 
So I got a water spell. Does the spell go into my hand? Not entirely sure how to how to do that, but I'm gonna kill this. I'm gonna hit him after he healed. Feels like a good turn. Feels like a good turn. That's right, because of the Rosewater Charm, he had five mana last turn, huh? Whoo, okay. Here has plus one attack. Okay. X is the size of the enemy's hand. The enemy has five. So I'm going to deal five damage to that. Great turn three play. Oh, I have... Okay. Okay, now I'm seeing how we... How spells are interacted. So spells are actually on the player. They're right here in this cube, and you play them by clicking and dragging them to the field. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Cast spells off the cards. That's really interesting. That's a really cool concept. Oh, and some of them even come with spells attached. Like, he comes with Wall of the Dead. That's really cool. Hold on, what does my opponent have? So death summon a two three. That's actually a really good card. Oh, but it has lifesteal. Okay. I think we still play out the Sin, the sin Lord. Trade that in. Actually, do we... This has guard, and this... I mean, that essentially does too. And I haven't laid the spell on him yet, so I don't think I actually do that. I think I need to do this for a trade. I'll take some pain. I'm going to him. I do gotta remember I have extra mana in case I need to do it. Okay, so he's a dump in his hand. Okay, so I unfortunately didn't get to use that water spell. All fire on these minus one, minus one. Interesting. However, we could... At the end of the turn, summon a 1-1. One, one that has zap. We're at 5 mana. We can go up to 7. Just laying this guy right now seems fine to do. Wall of the Dead is six. Oh, that gets minus two to attack. Does that stay on him permanently? That's
It stays on him permanently. Ooh, okay. Well, I made a misplay there. All units plus two plus two in spell shield. We're at six. We can go to eight. There's no reason to, though. All we're only prevents is the next damage from a spell. Okay. After the hero is struck. So I can attack them now? Is that what is that what I'm getting? They don't look like they changed, but they might have. think so? Sadly, I think that's all I really want to do for my turn. Get a one more with Taunt out. Seems good. just really powerful. Putting a gladiator down feels nice. I really want to kill that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but at, at, is it only a one-use spell? That's what I'm thinking, because if it is, I want to use it next turn when I, I go up to ten and put down my Earth Dragon. So five for a three-five. Okay. So now I have ten. That is a 7-7. Seven, seven. I might just need to do that. Whoa, hold on. Why does this deal 6 to it? Why would that deal six? Is there something I'm missing? D2 
do light cards deal extra damage against water? Is that is that something that's a thing? No, because he'd take four. He's got to have something on him that makes him deal double damage. There we go. This character takes two damage from everything. Frostbite. There we go. Now I'm seeing why that is that way. Uh, so... Ooh. I mean, I, I need to keep this guy in play. He keeps summoning taunts for me. actually killing this is the right move I'm in a way where I need to like I feel like I've, I haven't been doing that much to my opponent Help me stay alive. Draw a wither unit, do one damage to units without wither. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I feel like I haven't been doing anything in this in this game. Like, what is happening? Oh, an undragon. I mean, that would kill everything but the eight eight. I have no way to kill that 8 8. So I gotta hope my guard stays up for one more turn and do something here. Oh, okay. So he couldn't attack with it. That's nice. So I think I do that because anything else kills him. I feel like I need a Chakram this turn. What is this? Summon two one-cost units? I can do that. I don't need a Chakram then yet. That would have been amazing to know. Give all units Frostbite. Okay, I think I need to do this. Maybe. Does it not have the spell anymore? They can only hold one spell. So I really just messed myself up because I got rid of that that uh, 
vines. Oh lord. Yeah, I messed myself up in a big way then. right clicked but I guess I clicked it so I can now attack him so I hit the hero okay 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 question is I think I still do this to wither this thing down to having no attack. Because I do still only have one taunt. Let's see what he has. Okay, so I now know that heroes, that uh, they can only have one spell. Defender of 5 5, that just feels right. Can I kill the dragon? can't kill anything else. So I'm just going to go face. All right. So this is a very intuitive game and it's Okay. Oh, that's a board clear. But having him with spell shield is amazing. Question is, do I need it? I can just do this and deal three damage. That'll be alive. I might need to do Scorched Earth. Yeah, it'll... This will be the only one left. What's this? Yeah, I think I need a board board clear here. He's got one card in hand, now's the time to do it. Gotta come back into this game somehow. What's the spell on me? That's my most expensive spell. Most expensive card is three, really? Okay. Oh, 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. So I give a unit stealth, but then I kill it? That seems a bit weird. That doesn't even kill it. Oh, man. Okay. So I guess I do this. I can give his taunt stealth. I see. Wait, why'd that only take one damage? Did I just miss something? I've got to have missed something. Um, so I'm going to die if I don't do this. But I'm at four. Wow. What a draw. I might just come back from this. Nope. Never mind. You got a much better one. Draw a card. What did it, what just happened? Did I lose? Did I run out of deck? Did I just lose? It didn't say. The, the, the interface didn't allow me to see what happened. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, um, we're gonna... For real. I can't even look at this deck. Well, we're going to try this again. We're going to try this again. Now I have a little bit more understanding of what this deck does. Okay. No one drops. Dive bomb's nice. Ooh, Gift the Swords is good. Okay. I gotta remember, I have a two mana drop. Which I can use for Breacher. Feels fine. Alright, so how many cards do I have in my deck? Fifteen. So I probably did just deck myself out, is what happened. Good to know. Here I thought I was doing something decent. Wait, does that just... 
like... I just get two mana permanently? Oh my word, I've been playing this all wrong. I thought it was just for the turn. Wow, I feel dumb. I feel so dumb. I thought it was just for the turn. And now I think it was. It was just for the turn. God. Oh, you know what? You know what? Sometimes you just gotta play to figure it out. Is there a maximum hand size in this game or not? I don't think so. Okay. This guy has got to go. D battery's nice. I need to find a way to deal. I can't, so I should just. Probably should have played that out first. Never mind, it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, I gotta I gotta kill this thing. I cannot let him keep getting that much health. Okay. Do I really only have seven cards in my... That can't be right. What does the seven mean? Now it says I have six. Maybe it is how many cards I have in my deck. And I should just be winning. Do that. I think I want to lay Pudo next turn. I do like Talanos here. He's my only guard unit, which kind of stinks. Yeah, killing that right now seems good. Okay, so I'm probably not going to be able to pull off this 7 mana. Four ten with guard feels good. Feels good to me. What does he do again? He has life steal. That's right. Gotta kill that right now, then. Okay, so he's gained a lot of life, but I do feel like I'm able to just keep the pressure on it. Drag down. Oh, okay, so my breacher got minus one, minus one. Why does 
my hero have zero attack now? Ah, I see. This is going much better for me. Now I'm now I am the aggressor. Whoa. Come on, man. You can't just do all this crazy shenanigans. Summon the top three dead units as one one life steal wounds. Oh, you've got to be freaking kidding me. Okay, so they're all 1-1s, one laying out Hive is the best option. What's the one that makes it so my... Yeah, that's the one. Victory. All right. Okay. I like it. I like it a lot. I think I'll actually have to... I just hit the back button. It's putting me in another game. Oh, no. Stop. Perfect. I think the game is really intuitive. It's got some really nice mechanics uh, with the wither effect and all that stuff. Um, I love the graphical interface. There are some things with the UI that need to be reestablished. Um, the graveyard especially. You have to like find the pixel of which card you want to look at. Um, but I do like the layout of the game. I like the art style. There's a lot of fun things going along with here. Uh, I can't wait till this goes into more of a beta and I can start collecting cards. Um, but I think I'll just keep, you know, playing practice games. This is really fun. Um, we'll see. Once once I get a little more tuned into it, I might play it more on stream. Uh, but right now, it's something that I want to play on the side. Um, and just kind of kind of see how the game goes. See how it really develops for me. And see what I... Uh, can build off of it on my own free time. Uh, now, as um, oh, who said it? Someone said it's really nice because you can play in the interface. Um, this is a game with so much going on that I hope it actually branches out into its own game engine, uh, so that it's not played right in the web browser. Because like me hitting the back button and going into another game is going to get really difficult, uh, especially if you're playing in ranked mode. Because hitting that back button just on accident, because it is in the browser, could really mess up the game in a little bit. Um, but otherwise, those are just some technical issues I see possibly coming down. Um, but I think this game is really, really fun, really intuitive. Um, and the right direction for digital card games, in a sense, to keep going. And I hope, I hope, that down the road, Light Seekers eventually becomes a more 3D art style. Like this game is. Not like in the... Like, uh, and the way it's set up right now, it's very 2D, very flat, where this actually feels like there's a board, and my opponent's across from the table from me. Every single card game out there that's played digitally is like that now. So Light Seekers, I do believe, when it finally comes out of the beta, um, needs to step up their art and their game engine style to really go into the 3D aspect if it wants to try to compete uh, with a new player base the way all of the card games are. So, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, because I can't play it on my phone, uh, we'll see how much I actually play it on my computer. Uh, but I do think there is a lot to be said for the game in itself. I think it's really cool. 
Uh, a lot of mechanics that I didn't know were interacting with each other. I like the fact that uh, each unit has a spell attached to them, or can have a spell attached to them. So that's a really cool uh, mechanic that is only found digitally. I like that uh, digital aspect a lot. So, guys, I'm going to cut the stream short tonight. H man, the man, I am actually heading out too because I got work tomorrow. So do not apologize for a thing. It was a pleasure seeing your game. It was a pleasure uh, looking at your decks. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if, if you want to, hopefully next time you can set up a time where you can just record your videos and put them on YouTube and we can we can talk about your perspective of the game. And it'll be awesome to go through those. Um, but thank you for joining me, H the man, man. H man, the man, I'm going to mess that up every single time now that it, I, I'm going to know it's wrong too. Um, but yeah, thank you guys very much for tuning in tonight. It was a lot of fun to check out Skyweaver. It was a lot more fun to get back and start talking about Lightseekers again. Um, in the more traditional sense where you just talk about the game. Um, sleep when you're dead. I mean, if I don't sleep, I'll die really quick, won't I? Um, but yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see more of these, uh, league games from the Lightseekers League. Talk about them with Mud Turtle coming up on Wednesday. Um, yeah, guys, if you, if you haven't got a chance trying to get in the Skyweaver beta, uh, check it out. I do highly encourage any people that are play that play card games. Don't just settle with one card game. Play as many as you can, because uh, the more card games you learn to play, the more cool and fun mechanics and interactions you can think about, and then bring those into the other card games. So like, hey, it worked in this, and it, they kind of have the same mechanics built in. Maybe it works in this game, too. Maybe I can build something like that. So try Skyweaver. I highly recommend it. It looks really fun. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to try this on my own time um, to see just kind of what I can do. But the whole fact that, like, if I level up and get all these cards, and then once it, it comes out, I wipe my collection clean, kind of makes me not want to grind as many hours into it as I sh as I could and should. Um, but I do want to see this game grow. It looks really fun. Uh, like I said, I love the art style. So look out for Skyweaver. Join the beta. Let me know what you think of my Discord channel. Um, and until Wednesday, guys, have a good night.